Are we going to witness a battle between two major 3D printing companies? On one side, Creality with their K1 3D printer, and on the other side, the Anycubic Cobra with higher speeds. Well, we are going to find it out right here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, this is Zachary and welcome to this video. Yeah, it is going to be, I think, very big. And what can we expect of two big companies, Creality and Anycubic? Well, I saw the news passing by on Twitter and they are on both sides are very mysterious. Or is it? Well, let me start first with the Creality K1. What can we expect from Creality when it comes to the brand new flagship series? We had the Ender series, we had the CR series, we have the Ceremon series. The K1 is going to be a brand new series from Creality. Well, what can we expect? Is it going to be a Core XY system? Is it going to be a Delta 3D printer? Because Creality doesn't have any Delta printers in the past. I'm very curious about this. Maybe they are going to stick with the i3 style 3D printer and maybe Creality is going to surprise us with something totally different. We are just going to fill in some gaps and see what we can expect. Well, I saw uh, a few days ago, I saw a tweet from Marlin that so one of the bigger sponsors of the uh, Marlin firmware is Creality and they decided to stop supporting Marlin. I don't know why they did it. Uh, it's, it's a little bit sad because hey, Marlin is a great firmware for your 3D printer. But what is Creality going to do? Are they going to fully focus on the maybe Clipper as a firmware or they did something totally different? different that they are they going to use the same firmware the clipper firmware as on the creality pad i know about the creality pad but maybe they are going to use a brand new firmware something totally designed for their own 3d printers with their own take on how to run the printers. Is this a 3D printer that is standard coming with Clipper or a other firmware type? Or is Creality going to do something very similar like the BQ Huracan? That one is also running Clipper. It is going to be very surprising what Creality is going to do with their firmware. There is also here on the side AI camera sees it all spaghetti detector. Maybe something like a lighter like we saw on the Bamboo Labs 3D printers. We can only guess what Creality is going to do. But one thing is for sure certain there is going to be a camera attached to the printer. Where? How? Uh, we need to wait until we see or get, get more details about this 3D printer. And on Twitter, I saw from Anycubic something being announced like crazy speed, stay tuned. On the top of it, above, I saw Anycubic Cobra series. Would that mean that Anycubic is also going to do something special with their Cobra 3D printer series. Are they also going the route for Clipper on their 3D printers? I cannot remember that Anycubic did anything with a pad and Clipper, but we can only guess what they are going to do. Well, since they mentioned the Cobra series, I don't expect to see anything like a Delta 3D printer or a Core XY 3D printer. Anycubic, what are you going to do? Are you going to surprise us with your take on this crazy speed? It's going to be amazing. Is Anycubic going to go into a battle with Creality? Since the announcement between the Creality K1 and the Anycubic is pretty much on the same time period? Well, in less than a week, two companies came with a very similar font size. Because if you look at this and you look at that, it is looking very, very similar. A little bit different, but speed and uh, be fast, meet the future. It is looking very, very similar. But I don't know if I'm getting more information about one of those with, a, with the 3D printer. I'm going to make a closer look video about it. And I'm going through all the features and all the goodies that these 3D printers are go going to be equipped with well let me be surprised and let's stay tuned and let's find it out together in one of my later videos 
right here on Zachary's 3D Prints. If you are still watching this video, thank you, you are amazing. Did you know that? There are several ways to support this channel. I have a Patreon site, link is in the description. You can also, you know, do YouTube memberships and your name is going to be added here or maybe here, I don't know where it is actually going to be. There is also a thanks button where you can support me just one time. And if you don't want to support this channel financially, hey, that is okay. There's also other ways like liking this video, subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed yet. There's a bell so that you get notifications and you don't miss out on any of the videos. If you like gaming and gameplay, there's another channel called Easy Zack. I post there almost every week a video about Minecraft gameplay or some other gameplay. I'm so into the Minecraft gameplay that at this moment you will only see Minecraft gameplay there. And also I have a Twitch, twitch.tv slash Zagary's World. I stream there every Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Sometimes a little bonus day I will stream there as well. So hey, go on Twitch and check me out there as well. If you made it this far, you are amazing and I will see you next time. Peace. Bye bye.